Hello there guys, Coaster Chal here, Dongster Born, Bob Bill for Theme Parks and welcome to a list video. We're going to be listing the top six Thorpe Park thrill rides. Uh, now this video was suggested by Thorpe.Park underscore Ruben on Instagram. Massive shout out to you for the video suggestion. Uh, so what I've done is, because there's 12 flat rides and the original suggestion was flat rides. Since there's 12 flat rides, six thrill, six family... I'm going to do the video in two parts, so this part one will be the top six Thought Park thrill rides and the other part will be the top six Thought Park family rides. Uh, so we're going to do two videos on this one suggestion alone, so please feel free to suggest any video ideas using the Google Forms link in the description down below uh, because you, your video idea will end up on this channel. Uh, now before we get started guys, please like, comment, subscribe, click the okay bell so you never miss another YouTube video. And for now guys, let's go on and talk about this so uh, today's all about the thrill ride so we're gonna give you my list and my thoughts on why I've chosen this in that order so let's get on it my thrill seekers so in sixth place I've gone for quantum this is the Fabry magic carpet ride located in the lost city area of the park now the reason why I've gone for Quantum 6th place, it was very very hard to choose Quantum in 6th place. And the reason why is because um, I, you know, I've not really experienced it, I can't really judge it. This is the one, of the, this is the one flat ride um, that I've not experienced. This, this is one of two flat rides I've not experienced. So you know, you, you know these are going to be very low down the list if I've not experienced them. But Quantum, from the looks of it, off ride is a very interesting flat ride indeed. I think that uh, the style of it is great. I think the, mecha the, the mechanic, the mechanics of the ride and the the way it's uh, operating looks quite interesting. It's quite a nice sensation. It's like it's like submission in a way because it's sort of uh, you know that's a, a double inverter flat ride at Alton Tower that used to be at Alton Towers. And you look at how that operates in the way it hurtles you one way and then back the other way upside down or whatever. This has got that kind of similar feeling, but in a more family way. You know, it's the classic kind of flat ride where it hurtles you one way, hurtles you back the other way, and it's that rotational force experience that you sort of get on Quantum. So, um, from the looks of it, that's what I get from it. But hopefully I'll be down at Thorpe Park in the future to uh, get my first riding on Quantum. It was just very busy on the days when I was, on the couple of years I was there. So, um, you know, obviously hopefully I'll get down to Thorpe Park as soon as possible to, uh, to experience Quantum. Fifth place, the other ride, the flat ride I haven't experienced yet, is Vortex. Now, this is the KMG Afterburner. However, I know about a KMG Afterburner. I've experienced KMG Afterburners before. Eagle's Claw that's no longer at Lightwater Valley. Um, obviously, the, the traveling ones, the Devil's Rock, as they call them, or the Extreme. There's a, there's a few traveling ones I've done. I've done some at Doncaster Fairs. Uh, I did one that was outside the graduation, well, I think what's known as the graduation building for Sheffield Helm University students. Um, there's like a massive building on campus, and there's like, and, and usually the graduate, or the massive graduations before COVID happened in there. And next to it, there was this massive uh, extreme flat ride, and it was it wasn't bad to be fair. I had a good few goes on it over the couple of months it was there, so uh, it was uh, a good one. It was a really good uh, attraction. And even though I've not experienced Vortex itself, I have experienced a permanent KMG Afterburner and Eagle's Claw. And you know these are fun flat rides. They give a nice hurling sensation. Uh, they they give you the, the the negative G's, especially when you're up in the air uh, at full at full force full throttle um, and you know I think that Vortex is uh, a wonderful flat ride so uh, it's definitely worth the ride if you're there but uh, hopefully like I said when we're down to Thorpe Park as soon as possible in the future I'll be able to experience Vortex for myself as well but I know about these KMG Afterburners and they're, they're really good flat rides but just not as thrilling as other ones anymore in fourth place is Zodiac. Now, Zodiac is a Huss Enterprise. It was relocated from Drayton Manor Theme Park and opened in 2001 as a permanent ride uh, in the Lost City section of the park. It was part of that sensory overload with Detonator and Vortex as part of the that kind of uh, marketing campaign to promote the three new flat rides for the 2001 season. Um, you know the the first full thrill year of Thorpe Park and Volta and sorry and um, Zodiac really is the classic flat ride and I love a good Enterprise and I probably you know there's there's rides I've had on Zodiac where I probably rate that over Enterprise Alton's hours at times because 
Um, it's just that it, it's just it just feels it just gives you more force at times, and it depends on the weather as well. If it's very very windy, it'll give you a lot more force. But uh, if it's sunny and it's cla and it's not cloudy at all, and it's you know bright cl clear days, it will give you force, but not as much force as Enterprise. That's what sort of what I've got from it. Um, but Zodiac is a wonderful flat ride. Don't get me wrong; it's a classic flat ride model. Um, and you know, I, I rate it. I still rate it as a flat ride. So overall, Zodiac's the classic flat ride at Thought Park Resort, and uh, hopefully, it stays for the long term. So now we're going to move into our top th uh, three. Moving then into third place, and I've gone with Samurai. Now this is the Old Town Mondale Top Scan ride um, in the Old Town area. Now Samurai, of course, is near uh, saw the ride as well. And, you know, Samurai is the classic human tumble dryer ride, isn't it? Um, but yeah, Samurai is a wonderful flat ride, a great experience. I think the, the hurtling sensation, the 360 degrees uh, spinning rotational experience definitely gives off the, uh, the, 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 the forces and the Gs and the, 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 the extreme experience the Thrill Seekers are looking for. And I'm glad this ride is still at Thought Park Resort. I think that it's a wonderful attraction. I don't know where Thought Park's flat ride lies would be without it and you know samurai is definitely one of those attractions that you will not likely not to forget i never forgot it uh when i queued up for it and rode it it's a wonderful attraction absolutely brilliant attraction and overall i think that samurai you know is covered to a top three spot for me i think that samurai uh, is a wonderful flat ride i think the uh, I like the soundtrack for the ride. I like the the theme of the ride. I like the look that it's going for. I like the, um, the, the the sort of look and the design of the logo of the ride. I think the off ride it looks amazing. On ride it feels extreme. Uh, but overall, I think it's uh, a good flat ride. So overall, very impressed with Samurai, and that's why it takes the number three spot. Next up in number two is going to be Detonator Bombs Away, the Fabry Drop Tower, located in Angry Birds Land. Of course, first known between 20, 2001 and 2013 as Detonator in the Amity Cove, before that section got rethemed in 2014 to Angry Birds Land, with the addition of the Dodgems, uh, the rethemes, and including the retheme of Detonator, it's Detonator Bombs Away, and of course, the Angry Birds 4D experience as well. And Destinator Bombs Away, classic drop tower from Fabry, uh, open on the former site of the Wicked Witch's Haunt Dart ride that burnt down in the 2000 Thought Park fire. Um, Detonator is a wonderful replacement for the ride for Wicked Witch's Haunt. I think the Detonator is uh, a great drop tower. It's not the best drop tower I've ridden, but it's right up there as one of the good ones, one of the great ones. And, you know, it's that rising sensation, rising, 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 and then you have the uh, the countdown before the massive drop and I think the forces you get on the drop are wonderful It doesn't have to be the tallest drop tower in the world to give you loads of forces And I think the the forces experienced on detonator are definitely uh, Wonderful extreme experience forces so you know detonator really is a wonderful ride experience and, and and I'd rate it as one of the top drop towers I've done so far obviously there's still loads in Europe to call like hurricane condor put Ventura. There's one at Heidi Park, there's one at Leesburg, you know, there's, there's still loads to experience, but I think that uh, for now at least, Detonator Bombs Away, aka Detonator, is up there with the best of them for now. And finally, that leaves our first place thrill ride, and that is Rush, the screaming swing from SNS in Lost City. Now, obviously, we spoke to SNS in a couple of interviews recently on the channel, go and check them out. They produce some wonderful concepts, and the screaming swing is another one of them. Rush is, in my opinion, my favourite flat ride at Thought Park. Obviously, if we're talking close attractions as well, Slammer is arguably top spot. But Rush, in terms of operating flat rides at Thought Park Resort, is right up there. Uh, I think that Rush is definitely 100% the ride to be at the minute. I think that it gives off this overall sensation, the forces you feel as you're swung up. It's like you take a traditional playground swing and you... Um, maximize it by a hundred it is literally a massive colossal swing and the forces you get when you're thrown up there and thrown the other way is amazing and I think once both swings are running I think that you get that ultimate dueling sensation when one goes the other way one goes one way and overall rush gives off that extreme sensation that's exactly what the name implies it gives you a rush a thrill rush an adrenaline rush 
And, you know, Thorpot did a wonderful job bringing this ride into the park uh, back in 2005, I believe. So, uh, you know, Rush definitely is one of the good ones. And, uh, you know, it's going to take some beating to, to beat Rush as my all-time favourite current operating flat ride, thrill ride at Thorpe Park Resort. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages. That is looking at my top six thrill rides at Thorpe Park Resort. We, br we will bring the family rides video in at some point this year so stay tuned for that over the next few months um but there we go so that's ranking all six of the thrill rides at thought park resort hopefully we get brand new thrill rides at the park because that's something we've been, miss been missing for a long long time and hopefully fingers crossed we do get that so thank you very much guys for watching this video make sure you like comment subscribe and for now guys my name is coach chow keep living the ghost of life and i'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care guys have a rush tastic day I mean, come on, it's number one spot, so it deserved to be in the ending catchphrase today.